Well, good morning, my friends, and welcome back to the kitchen. I am so glad y'all came to visit with me today. Sometimes it just it's just good to talk to somebody that I know is going to talk back to me. I appreciate your comments, and I appreciate all of your prayers and concerns for Troy. He has a stress test coming up tomorrow, which will be Monday. And um, by the time y'all see this, he will have had his stress test, and maybe you will have an update. But today, I'm going to right quick make um, some yeast muffins. I got this recipe back in 1970 after I married in Detroit's family. Uh, his sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, Irma, gave me the recipe. And it's tried and proven and true and good and, and convenient. You mix your dough and you can bake it immediately or you can keep it in the icebox for up to two weeks and just scoop out daily what, what you need. So I'm going to get you over to the uh, mixer and we're going to get them all mixed up and I'm going to bake some of them and put some butter on them and maybe a little jelly and we're going to make some yeast muffins that they don't have the texture of a roll but they don't have the texture of just a regular muffin. They're different. They're easy and they're convenient. So I hope y'all will try the recipe. I've used it many, many times. It's just very handy for a good, quick uh, little roll to use for your meal. Y'all come on over here. Get close enough to see down in that bowl and we'll mix it okay, up. Okay, to start with, I've put four cups of self-rising flour into my mixing bowl. And I have to have a, a packet or two and a fourth teaspoons equals a packet of yeast and I'm going to go ahead and put that in my warm water and I know y'all couldn't see that because it was on the other side of the mixing bowl but I'm just going to give that a quick stir let it get mixed up and I'm going to go ahead and add <clears throat> to my flour it's a half cup of sugar get my dry ingredients in there mix that a little bit get that in your see better. And then it calls for, um, I'm going to go ahead and add my yeast water next. And it calls for three-fourths of a cup of oil and one egg. And get it all in there and get it mixed up. And there went a piece of shell, but I got it. And that's all there is to it. It's four cups of self-rising flour, a half a cup of sugar, three-fourths cup of oil, one egg, one package of yeast, and two cups of warm water. Now I have added some chives or different herbs to them and they're wonderful and savory but I like to leave them plain in case I want to make them to go with uh, bacon and eggs for breakfast then they're good with some jelly on them. But you can doctor them up however you want to and if you take a little couple of cups out uh, and you want to add some herbs to them because you're doing them with a with a lunch or supper you can do that. It's your your option you know that. But I've got my dough ready, so I'm going to get my little muffin tin greased and get some dough in it and um, <clears throat> show y'all what they look like when they come out of the oven. Now, I usually just spray Pam in it, but today I'm going to use Crisco because I want to be sure they come out good. And I could use bacon grease. That would give them a good flavor to go with breakfast. But this is just handy, very handy. Most of the time, if you have self-rising flour on hand, you could whip a batch of these up if you needed to cook them immediately and have a good bread to go with a meal. Or you could just serve them with jams or whatever to go with your, your tea or coffee. It's just a good recipe, y'all. Let me get the dough.
Okay, now, <clears throat> let me get something to get it out with. Okay, we've got our dough over here, and I'm just going to take a big kitchen spoon. We call them a tablespoon. And I'm going to put about two of them in there, which is probably equal to maybe a little over a fourth of a cup. Just fill your muffin tins about three-fourths full. And I'm just going to put this into a container with a lid on it and put it in the ice box. And then when I get ready for some more bread, all I've got to do is... A for two weeks, I could just bring it out and do just what I'm doing. Just dip some into my tins and bake it. Very convenient. And you don't have to let these rise, by the way. They're ready to just bake. Okay, I've got my tins full. My muffin, my oven has reached its temperature and I'm going to get them in um, to bake. And I'll bring y'all back when they're done. Y'all, here's my breakfast all plated up. I cut one of the muffins in half and put me some Kerrygold butter on it. Oh my word. Got me some bacon and one fried egg. And I'll bring you over here and show you the little dish with the other muffins. And here's the muffins. See how they, oh they're just so good. Y'all gotta try this. It's just, it's a yeast roll on steroids. It's wonderful. I love having them. And I forget about having the recipe and then when I think about it I wear it out for a while. And then I don't make it for a while but this would be something you want to have in your little recipe box because they're very convenient to have in the refrigerator where you can just pull it out and cook one or two or three or twelve, whatever you need. I cooked them for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. But you'll have to watch your oven. It may be a little bit different. I sure hope that y'all will try this recipe. Mix you up a batch of them and cook a few and put it in the ice box to use whenever you need some bread for a meal. I'm fixing to sit down and have my egg and bacon and a muffin. And um, I might do another video for tomorrow. I'm not sure. But y'all, uh, try the recipe and let me know if you try it. And like I told you earlier, you can add herbs to it to make it savory. You could add a little bit of fruit to it. It's not a real sweet roll, uh, but it's not just bland either. So make a plain batch and then see how you want to dress them up or down. Hope y'all have a blessed day and um, enjoy some time with your family. And do something that makes you happy something that you enjoy doing. You know, take some time for you. I call it me time. Everybody needs a little bit of me time. Remember to sit down at the table with the food and the family. Don't eat in front of the TV. Don't just go off by yourself or eat one at a time. Set a meal time. Set your table full of good food or have it buffet style. But sit down at the table with your family and have a meal and make some memories and Give them your undivided attention for 45 minutes or so. It'll go a long ways in the future and in shaping lives and making people feel loved and wanted. Now y'all have a good day. You come back here tomorrow and we'll have another good recipe. The good Lord bless y'all.